We've had some rather interesting comments from Naughty Dog, from community strategist Arnie Mayer to be exact, which was in a live stream hosted by Game Trailers. And he touched a little bit on how Naughty Dog changed their approach rather drastically between PS2 and PS3 generations, and that it would take a bigger tech change to do for them to do another radical change like the one that happened between the PS2 and the PS3. Obviously, there was a small change, of course, in engine and tactics and whatnot for the PS4, but not the huge shift that we saw from the PS2 and PS3 generations. And here's what Arnie had to say, quote, There were always some pretty solid reasons in the past for moving from franchise to franchise, and a lot of it was just the technological leaps between the consoles. It's really what dictated that. Even then, if you look at what from PS1 to PS2, we were still doing cartoony platformers. We just went more open world and we changed a lot of things around. But I think the biggest shift was PS2 to PS3, just because it was also the te with the technology we had, we could tackle something a bit more realistic. We were still going for stylized realism, so that we couldn't hit the uncanny valley issue. We're trying to stay away from that. We're seeing the same sort of thing that we've seen between PS1 and PS2, between PS3 and PS4. It's okay. We can continue this. We we really like where we're headed with, with, with going, with having things grounded in a real world scenario, but still with a little bit of stylized reason, realism to it, so you're not dealing with the uncanny valley. But it is basically just that. It's okay, here's an extension of what we can do. A lot of what we're already doing, but better, and throwing a lot more stuff behind it. It was kind of more of an easier decision with all that. I think it probably had to take a bigger technological change for us to go, okay, we just need to start from scratch and come up with something different. And slightly off that topic, he did also mention that there'll be no no decisions have been made yet on whether or not stats will be carried over from the Uncharted 4 multiplayer beta to the final released version of the game. Basically, it depends on how close the beta is to the final version of the title. Obviously, if there are radical design changes, it would make no sense for them to carry over. But if it's fairly similar, then they probably will. But of course, there's no confirmation just yet. I would actually like to see Naughty Dog do another Crash Bandicoot game or another stylized platformer like they used to do back in the day. I wouldn't say no to that, but it would kind of be like a fun side project, perhaps when they're done with one of their bigger franchises. That's just me, of course, dreaming, but it'd be kind of nice to see them do that as well as their more realistic games. They are definitely a very talented team of developers who have come quite a way since the days of the PS1. But I don't think just because the technology has improved that they can't still do that cartoony style. That's definitely made a bit of a comeback, especially in the smaller development scene. And I wouldn't mind seeing Naughty Dog take that on once more. But that's just me crossing my fingers and praying to the stars that we get another Crash Bandicoot game, I suppose. Still, some interesting comments. And perhaps we will see a massive change in direction for the next generation. But of course, it would have to be a even bigger change than the one we saw from PS1 to PS2, so maybe it would even be two generations down the line. We just don't know. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.